All right, we're going to do a review of the Godiva Holiday Chocolate Cookie Village Kit, which is known for children 8 to 12. And we might be a little bit older than that, but let's see how our efforts worked. All right, let's look at the final project, product first. That doesn't look too bad from far away. We, we, we also added some penguins because every village needs a penguin. So there, <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> All right. so there is our village, but there were some disasters along the way. Yes, this was, there was a wicked snowstorm and that was the end of that village. But what we have to say, and I think my partner Renee agrees with me about this. I do. Okay. Whatever you say. Which is that this particular product, I'm going to be really honest with you. <coughs> I've done a couple of these projects now. Uh, this, the, this one I bought, it's Godiva Belgian Holiday Chocolate Cookie Village Kit. And here are the instructions on the back. Now I know that you see some white words. No. The white words tell you absolutely nothing. But what they do is they have a new age thing so you can go and see a video of how to put this thing together, which was, how helpful was that, Renee? Um, on a scale of one to 10, yeah. one and a half. Yes. <laughs> and why was it unhelpful? What was it about <clears throat> it that made it particularly disturbing and annoying to the point where you said you wanted to throw my phone across the room? Well, there was <laughs> stupid music behind it, which went like this. Can yeah. we sing it? I think we can. Go ahead. Do 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 And she spoke with a British accent and she'd say, okay, take this piece and attach it to this piece and then attach it to this piece. Yes. And we couldn't figure out which pieces went to which houses. There was no, the first instructions that it came with were to take the pieces as they came and to take the pieces apart because they're scored so you can take them apart. What they did not tell us is once you take them apart, you cannot identify which house goes with which side or roof. And we think we're reasonably intelligent women. No, no, it, it's so specific. But we so eventually figured it out. We figured it out. And they still look like crap. <laughs> But we had so much <laughs> fun. Like crap. But we did have fun. And we have leftover icing and whatnot. But I don't know. I'll be really honest with you. Uh, uh, when I t oh, I don't know if I should tell you the cost of this kit. Uh-uh. Uh, yep. It's, it, wa it was not cheap. Um, but, you, but you get two Godiva. Yeah, dollars, there you go. Which are you worth get two probably $3 each. <laughs> probably, yes. So in TikTok language, this was an awesome, super exciting, successful, creative project. And in normal talk, I enjoyed myself, but I would never do it again. It was a bit of a pain in the ass. Exactly. What about for you? We had a really good time because we did it together, but it was not, not a successful project, I'd say. Yeah, so I would not buy this project. And now I will piece this little video together so it makes a little bit more sense. But we just saved you some money in your pocket. And you might want to use graham crackers and your own royal icing instead. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. The ruins of the gingerbread civilization. Before Renee left, we prettied it up a little bit with some fake snow. And uh, we're saying that Santa Claus is King Kong attacking the village. Yeah, it was fun. It's fun to do something like this with a friend, but I don't recommend buying this kit. And needless to say, none of this is uh, sponsored by anybody. So remember to keep the white to your paper white, your paints wet, and uh, uh, enjoy your Christmas decorations. See you next time. Bye-bye.